just shot him a couple times, Craig. He should be up there on top of you. Yeah, got one set of tags. Oh, I want the There's other set. I want it, and he's running. Got it. Mm, double tags. You're welcome. <laughs> What is going on guys? Craig1287 here, yeah, bringing you some Battlefield 4 gameplay. Gonna have that in the background as I discuss with the, uh, just a nice little thing that came out recently and that was that, uh, one of the DICE, uh, employees had tweeted, and I'll provide a link to this, uh, tweet or whatever it's called, uh, some information about the Second Assault DLC that we will be getting, uh, shortly. Well, Xbox One users will be getting it uh, a little sooner than uh, everybody else, but uh, basically they uh, just kind of gave a real, real brief description, a short paragraph of all that will be included in it, and uh, let's just get right to that. The upcoming Battlefield 4 Second Assault expansion pack comes first to Xbox One, uh, includes four fan favorite maps from Battlefield 3 pushed to their limits with the power of Frostbite 3. Return to post nuclear Paris two years later in Operation Metro 2014. Uh, featuring flooded subway tunnels and destructible ceilings. The walls of Caspian Border 2014 have been fortified with new vantage points, and players can now bring down its central communications tower. Operation Firestorm 2014 truly lives up to its name. The refinery's pipelines can be breached to create flammable hazards across the map. And stay sharp as Sandstorm rolls through Gulf of Oman 2014. Second Assault also equips players with five new weapons, an all-new vehicle, 10 assignments, and the Capture the Flag game mode. So that's what's going to be included as to the five weapons. Not sure which ones they will be, but uh, I am excited. Sadly, it is not 10, but hey, I'll take new weapons. I'm still unlocking the current weapons that have come with the game, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, as for the all-new vehicle, glad to hear that they are uh, they are going to keep coming out with new vehicles and they're not just going to, uh, you know, have stagnant uh, vehicles and things like that. I do hope that they, as they add these new vehicles, I hope that they add them to the uh, test mode, the uh, the test range. Uh, that would be really, really handy for those users that do want to get a better hang of it, and for those of us that like to do experiments on things and figure out their weak spots, what things damage them to what extent, what can damage them, things like the mini guns on the little bird, you know, I want to know what vehicles those can damage, and you know, all sorts of good stuff like that. Ten assignments, which will probably be linked to how you unlock those weapons, and then uh, some assignments based on the new vehicle, probably, and the capture the flag mode, I'm sure is what all those assignments will be tied to. And as for capture the flag mode, I'm glad to hear it's returning. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it uh, works with boats. I think that'll be really interesting. I, I hope that uh, we see some... I mean, from the maps listed, I mean, uh, the only one that's going to even have any boats, really, I think, is uh, Gulf of Oman. Uh, Metro could have a boat in the water at its starting section, but uh, <laughs> Firestorm's not going to have any boats. It's a freaking desert. And uh, same with Caspian, I doubt we'll see any boats on that. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the CTF mode plays out in some of the later maps that come out in some of the other DLCs and how they can uh, add in some of the naval combat. So that'll, that'll be interesting. And um, as for the maps themselves, I've seen the footage of them, the little teaser that came out of the uh, that Xbox event where they showed some footage. And uh, Metro looks uh, cool. I'm sure it'll still be the typical Metro with uh, very little flanking uh, options available. It'll be interesting to see how they uh, add in the two new game modes, Obliteration and uh, Defuse, to those maps. And I doubt they'll be adding Capture the Flag to the current maps. That would be great if they do. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, everything looks to be pretty good. Uh, I look forward to watching a lot of YouTube footage of... Xbox One users that get this content early, uh, dad gum exclusive day one content crap is annoying as ever, so uh, I'll just have to watch them have fun on the new stuff while I uh, continue playing the, the vanilla maps, but I'm sure I'll just have tons and tons of fun as the game is still great. Uh, and just a real brief thing on that, 
Uh, a few days ago, on the 7th, uh, DICE did a uh, article on their blog. Or, a, uh, well, they just did some uh, uh, articles like uh, BF4 Central and things like that. And basically just talked about how they do know that the netcode is a big priority right now. There's a lot of problems with it. So I'll have a link to that article if you want to read that. But basically it just says, we know it's a problem and we're putting it as a top priority. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you've enjoyed the gameplay going on there in the background. Hope you, uh, you know, in, are looking forward to the uh, uh, Second Assault DLC just as much as I am. And hope you guys have a good one. Ta-ta.